Oh, hello there. Hello. Mr Slate has told us to tidy up his office and I'll tell you something, it could certainly do with it. Sweet, that's far too full. Be careful. <laughs> Bone brain strikes again. Sweet, we're supposed to be tidying the mess, not making it. And where's Sooty gone to now? Sooty, will you come up here, please? I said, Sooty, will you come up here, please? <laughs> 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 On my nose! <laughs> Look, never mind about the waving to everybody. Oi, what are you doing down there? <laughs> oh, Sooty, what's all this? Oh, look, lots of letters. <coughs> what's that, Sooty? You can actually spell your own name with the letters? Well, <laughs> you can really do that? Really? Right now? Well, come on then, prove it. Well, less of the bowing, Big Ed. Get on with it. Go and fetch the whiteboard that's over there. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Oh! <laughs> right on my head! Give me that! Cool. Right. Get on with it then, Clever Clog. See if you can spell your own name. Sooty's name begins with a S. S. Just like a snake. So what letter makes a sound like a snake? <laughs> a can of beans? A can of beans? A can of beans does not make a sound like a snake. <laughs> it does if you open it. <laughs> All right, then, I'll open it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, very funny. Ha, ha, ha. Come on, stop it now. Get rid of this snake. We don't need it for learning about letters. It could be useful for learning about numbers. Why? It's an adder. <laughs> All right. He'll have to go. He'll have to go. Oi, you, loppy lugs. Take your snake and hop it. Go on, get out of it. Go on. Oh, look at Sooty, everybody. Sooty has spelt out his name with the magnetic letters. <laughs> wow, Sooty. You have done well. He spelt his own name. Look at this. Here's the first letter. It's the letter S. That makes the S sound. The next letter is the letter O, which makes an O oh sound. But when you put two O's together, they make an O sound. Look! The T sound is the letter called T. And with the letter Y on the end, that makes an E sound. So you have S O T E. Sooty! <laughs> well done, Sooty! <laughs> yes, all right, Sooty. Thank you very much. We've had quite enough bowing for one day. Don't milk it. I bet that was thirsty work, Sooty. Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> so, you'd like me to fetch you a tea? <laughs> There's your tea! <laughs> 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 oh, Sue, that's very funny. <laughs> Look, the letter T. <laughs> Can you remember what the letter T sounds like? Can you, Sooty? Yes, you're right. The letter T makes a sound like a T. Oh, look, now I can make my name. Watch. There you go. Oh, Sue, how <laughs> clever you are. Can you see what Sue's done? She spelt her name. Look, there it is. S, S, and the two O's, S, U, Sue. Well done, Sue. Anyway, come on, we've got to get Mr Slater's office tidied up. Richard, there's a bee on your head. <laughs> oh, what did you do that for? <laughs> Sue said there was a bee on my head. Oh. oh, sweep. That is the letter B, and it makes a B sound. It is not a bumblebee, you nitwit. Don't you know anything about letters? Don't. Oh. Oh, not 
these kind of letters. Oh, <laughs> Sweep, I'm talking about the letters in the alphabet. <laughs> you haven't got a clue, have you? No, he hasn't got a clue about anything. He's just a sausage brain. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you are. You've always had sausages for brain sweep. Come on. All right, all right. Stop squabbling, you two. Sweep, learning about letters can be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. In fact, I'll tell you what, we'll finish tidying up and then I'll take you all to a magical place where we can teach Sweep all about the letters in the alphabet. Hooray! But come on, gang. First of all, we've got to tidy up Mr Slater's office. What's that, Sissy? We could tidy up the office super fast if we use the magic wand. Whoa! Why didn't you think of that before? Go and get your magic wand then. <laughs> hey, I wonder if the boys and girls at home know the magic spell. I'm sure their mums and dads do. And in case you don't, it's Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. So if we all say it together after three, we'll see if we can tidy up Mr Slater's office by magic. Ready, gang? Here we go. One, two, three. Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. Oh, oh, Sooty, look at this, it's all spick and span. Oh, well done, and well done to you at home for helping with the magic. Right, all we need to do now is get these leaflets stapled together and we can head off. Yippee! Right, Sooty, I'll do the stapling and you can do the stacking. Action stations! Oh, just think, Sweep, an exciting day out where we can all learn about the alphabet. What's the name of this magical place, Richard? It's called... <sighs> Wookie Hole. Here we are, Wookie Hole, the perfect place to learn all the letters of the alphabet. Yippee! Come on! Well, hang on a minute, wait for me! <laughs> oh, look! It's a wishing well! I read in a fairy tale, if you found a magic wishing well, you could make a wish and your wish would come true. Oh, if only this well were magic. You'll make the well magic. <gasps> <laughs> Come on then, Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy! There you are! I've been looking for you three everywhere! Oh, hey, do I believe in magic wishing wells? Ah, no, I do not! Richard, if you did believe in magic wishing wells, what would you wish for? Well, right now, I'd wish for a nice cold drink! No. <laughs> Would you ask for it, Richard? I don't believe it. It is a magic wishing well. <laughs> Can the well teach you the alphabet? <laughs> I doubt it's that magic, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you're wrong, you silly man. I'll help anyone if I can. Greetings, Sooty Sweep and Sue. It's lovely to meet the three of you. <laughs> oh, it's got a voice. Hey, it's sounding well. <laughs> sounding well. <laughs> Get it? Well, <laughs> oh, suit yourselves. I'll help you learn your ABC. Here we go. One, two, three. Take a look inside this can. Can you guess my wizard plan? Look, it's full of letters from the alphabet. A challenge to test you, the toughest yet. Find words to match the alphabet. Search all around and bite, but finish before the time runs out. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's a giant egg timer. <laughs> All the sand in the top part slowly trickles into the bottom part and we've got to find words to match the alphabet before all the sand runs into the bottom! Oh, quick, quick, come on, let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Off you go, my friends, and make haste. There really is no time to waste. Right, gang, the first letter of the alphabet is the letter A. A makes an A ah sound. So what can we see around here that begins with an A? Ah. ah. 
Uh, uh, uh. Oh, what have you found, Sooty? Sooty's found an apple. <laughs> That's it, Sooty. You've got it. This is an apple. Apple begins with an A, and A makes an A sound. Can you hear the A in apple? A is for apple. Oh, does that mean we found our first letter, Richard? It certainly does, Sue. <laughs> What's the next letter? The next letter is the letter B. <laughs> yes, I had one of these on my head earlier, didn't I? Very funny. Oh, look! Ha <laughs> ha! The letter B makes a B sound, and B is for bike. B, bike. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I've got an idea. Now, we haven't got long to find the words to match these letters, so let's split up. Put some letters in my bag, Richard. Oh, that's a great idea, Sue. There you go. You head off with Sweep. Come on, jump in, Sooty. Come on, Sweep, keep up. <laughs> Come on, Sooty. With this bike, we'll find words super fast. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye. Does he want the apple? No, I don't think so. Sweet, get rid of it. <laughs> ah, Sooty, the brakes aren't working, Sooty! Sweep. I think Rich has just discovered our next word. It's cone. Cone starts with the letter C. Can you hear the C sound in cone? C is for cone. Thank you, boys. You found our word. <laughs> <laughs> well, that certainly gave me the giggles. But don't forget, the sand still trickles. <laughs> right. Our next letter is D. The letter D makes a D sound. What can we find around here that begins with a D sound? <laughs> you haven't got the foggiest idea? Brilliant! <laughs> well, thankfully I have. Look! Look where? There! Can't you see something beginning with D? Oh, sweet! You've got to learn your letters. You're looking for something beginning with D. D. Come on, let's see if you can get it. <laughs> got it yet, sweet? <laughs> now, sweet, can you see anything beginning with D? Anything beginning with duh? <coughs> duh. Now, sweet, concentrate. Have you seen anything beginning with D? Duh, duh, da, dino. <coughs> yes, D is for dinosaur. Well done. Now, the letter D makes a D sound and duh. It's for dinosaur. <laughs> right, Sooty, the next letter is the letter E, which makes an E sound. Now, what can we see around here that begins with E? Eh, 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 eh. Hey, what are you taking me, Sooty? Sooty, what are you doing? Sooty, what's the matter? Hey, oh, elephant. E makes an E sound, and E is for elephant. Brilliant, Sooty. <laughs> Don't make me jump, you and your magic wand, eh? You can do other noises as well. Oh, go on then. Did you really have to do the smell as well? <laughs> Makes a f sound and f is for flower. Oh. Ah, ah, yes. oh, 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 sweet, thank you very much, dozy dog. Come on, oh. <laughs> keep on looking, don't waste time. There's still lots more words to find. <laughs> 
Right, Sooty, the next letter is the letter G, which makes a G sound. Hey, You think there's a gorilla around here somewhere? A gorilla? Ah, don't be silly, and I don't want any monkey business from you. But you are right, Sooty. G makes a G sound, and G is for gorilla. You think you've found the gorilla? Oh, yes, and where? Sooty, quick! Our next letter. It's the letter H, which makes a H sound. Now, what can we see around here that begins with a H sound? Uh, eh? Oh. <laughs> well, I can't see anything around here that begins with a H. Oh, no! Sooty! <laughs> oh. Oh. I get it. H makes a huh sound, and huh is for hat. Oi! You! I'm so sorry. found our next letter. Well, our next letter is the letter J, which makes a J sound. What have you found around here that begins with a J? Hey! Oh, juggler! <laughs> J makes a J sound, and J is for juggler. Actually, you're just a. Uh, uh, you're gonna chase me as well, aren't you? Oh well, join the club. <laughs> club, get it? Club. <laughs> Our next letter is the letter K. Sounds like K, and K is for kite. Oh, I hope they don't find me. I'll just hide down here by the lake. So she always gets me into so much trouble. Ooh. Oh, look out, Sweep. It, it seems to be getting rather windy. Sweep! Sweep! Word, the letter L. L makes a L sound, so L is for lake. L, lake, which Richard has just fallen into. Hard luck! <laughs> <laughs> Keep looking, sooty sweep and sue. The sands of time won't wait for you. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Ooh, <laughs> that looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, I'm going to enjoy that pudding, I am. <laughs> you be careful, Dad. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Here, let me get a mouthful of that. <laughs> <laughs> 
While Richard's drying off, let's buy him something nice to eat. Yes, but we mustn't forget to look for the next words. What's our next letter? Our next letter is an M, which makes a M mm sound. And to buy Richard something, we need to use M. Mm, mm. Funny! Well done, Sooty. M makes a M mm sound, and M mm is for money. Now, what can we get Richard to eat? Our next letter is the letter N, which makes a N sound. Could you see anything to eat beginning with N? Oh, those vegetables look nice, but nothing beginning with N. Noodles? Ha <laughs> ha! Well done, Sooty. Yes, N makes a N sound, and N is for noodles. Now, boys, perhaps we can find our next word, which begins with the letter O, which makes an O oh sound. <laughs> An orange! That's it, Sweep. You're really getting the hang of this now. <laughs> yes, the letter O makes an O oh sound, and O oh is for orange. Well done, Sweep. <laughs> oh, and it looks like Sooty's found our next letter. <laughs> well done, Sooty. Richard will love that. Our next letter is the letter P. P sounds like P, and P is for pie. P, pie. <laughs> What's our next letter? Our next letter is Q, which sounds like Q. Can anybody spot anything beginning with Q? <laughs> I can see it. Can't you, Sweep? <laughs> Remember, it's a Q sound. What can you see that begins with a Q sound? Look closely. Here's a clue. Someone very important. A nice old lady that everybody loves. You've got it. Old Mother Hubbard. Why does everyone love her? Oh, because she gave her poor doggy a bone. Oh, give me strength. No, look. It's Qua the Queen. On Sooty's mummy, look, there's a picture of the Queen. Q makes a qu sound, and qu is for Queen. Thank you, sir. See you in a minute, Sooty. Now, our next letter is R, which makes a r sound. Hmm, any ideas, Sweep? <laughs> Richard! R oh, makes a er sound and er is for Richard. But as Richard is a proper name, it should start with a capital R. Well done, Sweep. Hey, we made loads of words. We're going to beat that magic well for sure. Ah, there you are, Sooty. Now, no more getting me into trouble. I've already been chased by a cross cranky clown and a bolshy baldy bonce. Eh? You bought me something to eat? Oh, that's very kind of you, Sooty. Thank you. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello, you two. <laughs> you found loads of words. Oh, brilliant. So where are we up to? We're right up to the letter S, <laughs> which makes a S sound. Oh, you're right. And the S sound is also the sound at the beginning of your names. Sooty, Sue <laughs> and Sweep. <laughs> but can anyone else find anything beginning with a S? You can. <laughs> S is for stick. You are absolutely right, Sweep. Stick begins with the letter S. S makes a S sound and S is for stick. S Stick! A sweep! Where did you get this from? Over there. Oh, sweep! What have you done? That poor old fellow's got a face full of his own pudding! Oh, I suppose I'll have to go and apologise and give him mine now. Oh, sweep, you bone brain! Now, what's our next letter? Yes, 
the letter T, which makes a T sound. Now, what word begins with a T sound? Oh, oh, this is your stick, sir. I'm so sorry, my friend took it by mistake. He didn't realise, so I thought I'd give you my... Oh. T makes a T sound, and T is for tray. T tray. The next letter is U, which makes an A uh sound. makes an uh sound and uh is for umbrella. Now, Sweep, take that umbrella back to the lady quickly, please. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, Sweep, now I'm in double trouble. <laughs> oh, no, Sooty, do something. You think the next word could save Richard? Well, the next letter is V. That makes a V sound. What can you see that begins with V, Sooty? Yes! On the counter, vegetables! V makes a V sound, and V is for vegetables. So what are you going to do? Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy! Close. Hello, my friends. The sands of time have near completed. Finish fast or you'll be defeated. Just four more letters to go. Hurry now, you can't be slow. Quick! What's our next letter? Our next letter is W, which makes a W sound. Now, what can we see around here that begins with a W? Uh, um. What's that, Sooty? Hey? Well, of course, well. W makes a W sound, and W is for well. The next letter is X, which makes a X sound. Let's look around for a word beginning with X. Uh. 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 Oh, this is tricky. Uh. Yes, it is difficult, Richard. Hardly any words begin with X, so X is just X. Ah. Wait a minute, Sue. Ah. I know that you're right. Hardly any words begin with an X, ah. but lots of words end with an X, I'm sure. OK, so what words end in an X? Ah. Uh... <laughs> oh, well done, Sue. You're right. Ah. Fox. Fox ends in an X, and X makes a K sound. Ah. Fox. It's so difficult to find a word that begins with an X. <laughs> Eggs. No, not that sort of egg sweep. Eggs begins with the letter E. E. Eggs. Oh, dozy dog. Come on, we need the letter Y or Y sound. Any ideas, Sooty? Hey, eh? of course. Yolk. The yellow part of an egg is called a yolk. Y makes a Y sound, and Y is for yolk. Yes, we only need one more letter, but quick, the egg timer is on its last few grains of sand. Oh, oh, we need to find our last word, which begins with the letter Z, which makes a Z sound. Uh, Z, Z, Z. Oh, that's a hard one. There he is. Where are you? Let's get him. Let's sort him out, your friend. Oi, who do you think you are causing all this confusion? You're like an animal. You belong in a zoo. Oh, oh. Thank you, sir. You found our last word. Z sounds like Z, and Z is for zoo. Hooray! We've done it. Oh, everybody, that's right. Well done, gang. You passed the test. Learning's easy when you try your best. And now you know your alphabet. I'll make this angry crowd forget.
When they awake, they'll be hale and hearty. Come on, Sooty. It's time to party. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed learning your ABC, and if you did, clap along and sing with us. Is for bike. K is for cone. D is for dinosaur. E is for elephant. F is for flower. G is for gorilla. H is for hat. Is for juggler. K is for kite. L is for lake. M is for money. M is for noodles. O is for orange. P is for pie. R is for Richard. S is for stick. T is for tray. R is for umbrella. V is for vegetables. W is for well. X is in fox. Y is for yolk. Z for zoo. We've had a great time learning. There's only one thing left to say, and it begins with B. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>